from history. Greetings and ghoulish salutations, my dear insatiable inquisitors of the peculiar. Prepare to embark on another chilling chronicle filled with uncanny antiques and farcical fanfare. And today I present to you the sensational sagas of one Madame Marty Voisin, a morbid marketeer who dabbled in deadly dealings for her devilish clientele. Mother Voisin, a loathsome lady from the 17th century, was so proficient in the art of the old hoka pocus that she bagged herself the moniker La Voisin. Madame Voisin terrorized the turbulent times of the French aristocracy, touting toxic tonics, diabolical divinations, and masters of malevolent malpractices. La Voisin's vigorous venture into villainy started modestly as she set up shops selling potions, lotions, and mystical magical notions. Her clientele could be best described as dastardly duchesses, scorned sycophants, and the most deplorable dandies of France. Want a pesky paramour's wife to perish prematurely. La Voisin's malevolent mixtures could most certainly provide. Once our perilous potion peddler had gained her sinister reputation, Madame Voisin branched out her bewildering, baleful business. La Voisin assembled an abhorrent ensemble of abominable abettors, which included psychics, alchemists, and disreputable priests. This frightful fellowship was summoned to fulfill the nefarious needs of her high society hooligans, seeking scandalous solutions. Apart from her stunning spells, Madame Voisin was known to dish out dubious dating advice that would make even Casanova cringe. She believed that the best way to attract a suitor was to avail a potent love potion. If that faltered, fear not. She then proceeded to organize appalling affairs involving black masses and atrocious acts. Alas, our wicked witch's wild ways were waning with the wind. As our phantasmagoric tale reaches its chilling conclusion, Fortune failed to favor the frightful fate of La Voisin. Her hidden horrors were unveiled by an undercover policeman who exposed her dubious deeds to King Louis the Stateenth. And so, in the year 1680, Madame Voisin's macabre market met its fiery finish as she was burned at the stake for her ghastly gallivance. For those still trembling in their boots, fear not, for we have reached the end of this terrible tale of a heinous harridan and her petrifying potions. I implore you, my friends, that as you sip your tea tonight, pay heed to the story of Madame Marthe Voisin and her perilous posse, who may be lurking right around the corner. If these tales of treachery tickle your fancy, please bestow upon us a like. Grant us the honor of a subscribe, and in the comments below, do tell us the detestable figures from history that you crave to hear about. Until our next spine-chilling chapter, adieu.